Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and as you've probably already heard by today, Apple decided they wanted to come out with their own iPhone 6S battery case. They've made their own case before, but this is their entry into the battery case market. So it comes in two colors. There's a black version and a white version. This is what it looks like. It's an 1877 milliamp hour battery, so that'll give you roughly one full charge. And it's supposed to give you, Apple says, 18 hours of browsing internet on LTE and 20 hours of web video playback. So you slide your iPhone into it just by moving the top of it backwards like this and sliding onto that iPhone connector, peeling over the top, done. This is probably the only iPhone battery case that actually plugs in via lightning. Most of them plug in via micro USB. So that's an advantage to being a first party Apple accessory. Another thing is in your iPhone's notification tray, it'll show you how much battery life you have left on both the iPhone and the case, it's talking to the iPhone. So that is it, that's basically the whole thing. Pretty basic, honestly, if you ask me. Super simple look to it, not a whole lot of extra features. And everyone's hating on it, right? Why? First of all, the design, uh, you've probably already seen this big bulge. I'm not sure what to call it. Kind of looks like there's another iPod underneath the skin or something. There have been other cases that look similar to this, but most of them look better. Maybe Apple thought you could kind of like rest your finger on this ridge or something here. It's supposed to be easier to hold in the hand. I don't know if I'd buy that, but that's the way it looks. But the main reason that I and many other people have been not so happy about this case is the price. It's $100, it's a $99 case, right? And that only matters because this is what else you can get for 99 bucks. This is another case, this is by Mophie. Mophie is probably the most popular case maker at least in terms of battery cases for the iPhone right now. So this is their Mophie Juice Pack Air. Mophie Juice Pack Air is number one I'd say designed a lot better. It's this nice, smooth looking, normal looking case on the back. You get it onto the iPhone by taking off the top, something that Mophie has a patent for, clicks into place, slides the top on. Number two, it's a much larger battery on the back here. Like I said, this is a 1,877 milliamp hour battery. This is a 2,750 milliamp hour battery. And besides just the numbers, Mophie's been doing battery cases for a while, so there's a couple things that people who buy battery cases will see that Mophie's thought about for a while that are just done better here than they are in Apple's first try for the same price. So on the Mophie, the battery charge indicator is on the back. You push a button, it lights up, it tells you how much charge you have left. On Apple's, you have to turn on your phone for that, and the charging indicator LED is on the inside of the case. With the Mophie, there's an on-off switch on the back of the case. So if you don't have low battery, you can wear the case on your phone all day, but then when you actually get low, you can flip that switch and then start charging. On the Apple case, you have no choice about when you start charging. Whenever you plug the case in, you start charging your phone. And Mophie's not the only one doing that. Here's another case, this is from LifeProof. It's supposed to be waterproof, but it also has the battery indicator on the back, and it's also a 2600 milliamp hour battery. You can also get something like this, which is just an external battery, and you've probably seen stuff like this before, but with these you can get, of course, much, much more power, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 milliamp hours for charging your phone multiple times over. It's not quite as portable and sleek because it doesn't have to be on your phone, but that's another solution for the same thing. So at the end of the day, the conclusion is pretty simple about this guy. This is Apple's first battery case, and it's not the best battery case you can get for your iPhone, obviously. Especially because it's 99 bucks, you can get much better for the same price or even less. I'll have links to all the things I've talked about in the description. Bottom line, now you know it's available to you. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.